polynomial functions and their graphs. Polynomial functions of degree 2 or higher have graphs that are smooth and continuous. By smooth, we mean that the graphs contain only rounded curves and no sharp corners. By continuous, uh, we mean that the graphs have no breaks and they can be drawn without lifting your pencil. The end behavior of the graph to the far left and to the far right is called its end behavior. Although the graph of a polynomial function may have intervals where it increases or decreases, the graph will eventually rise or fall. So this is going to be your far end behavior. It will eventually rise or fall without bound uh, as it gets near the left or far to the right. To determine this end behavior, uh, we're going to look at the sign of the leading coefficient and the degree. Basically, we will look at the degree first. If we have an odd degree, it's going to look in general like a cube graph, and the ends will behave like that. You might have another little loop up in the middle, but the ends will behave like this. If it has an even degree, it's like a W, um, and you might have more squiggles in between. If you have a negative leading coefficient, it would turn these upside down. Let's look at some graphs. Right, so first look at your degree. Your degree is the highest exponent. So our degree is 3, so our degree is odd, which would make it look like a cube graph, the end behaviors, right? The leading coefficient is positive, so it's not going to turn upside down. It's going to stay like this. So far to the left, the end behavior is going down, so it's going to fall to the left, and it's going to rise as it goes to the right. right? Look at the next one. First, you always look at the degree. Right? Degree is odd. it's going to look like a cube graph. The leading coefficient is positive, so it's not going to turn upside down. You'll see if you just look at the difference in these, this one is just a little thinner. Um, this one is stretched out, and the only difference is actually this one ends in minus 2, and this one ends in minus 3. But that is not changing your end behavior. Um, the end behavior depends on the degree, which is 3 in both cases, and whether the leading coefficient is positive. Our next one, 3x to the fifth plus 6x minus 1. Um, the degree is 5, which is odd. That is going to make it look like a cube graph. It is a positive 3, so it's not going to turn upside down. So in general, it looks like a cube graph. Um, it looks a little straighter on here. I'm going to pull up the um, calculator and has a little bit more of a curve you can see there than in this picture. So our next two pictures are functions that have an odd degree. So this one is x to the third, so degree 3. Uh, the second picture is degree 5. And these look like cubes, but they are upside down. And so notice that the leading coefficient in both cases is negative. That's what makes them turn upside down. And so they are rising to the left and falling to the right. Same here. Rising to the left, falling to the right. Our next polynomial functions have degree 4. So an exponent of 4, these are even. And notice it looks like a W. That one doesn't go up much, but in general it looks like a W. This one also looks like a W. That's the even degree making it do that. They both have a positive leading coefficient of positive 1, and so that's what makes them stay in this direction. If they had a negative coefficient, they would turn upside down. Notice that these rise to the left and also to the right. 
Our next two have an even degree. So they would be W's except the leading coefficient in both cases is negative. So it turns them upside down. So instead they look like M's. This one the squiggle is not as much. But uh, they have fall to the left, fall to the right, fall to the left, fall to the right. Uh, these graphs, when they're even, they're symmetric around the y-axis. So the ends are going to look the same on an even graph. So um, falling here, falling over here, or rising and rising. We have a little table of our separate cases. Um, it's hard for me to remember this table. Um, so use whichever works better for you. If you do good with cube and m uh, or w, uh, then use those. If not, you can use this table and remember it. So the odd degree, remember, is going to be like a cube. Right? And that will be your positive leading coefficient. Your negative leading coefficient is going to turn it upside down. It's still going to look like a cube, but upside down. Even degree with a positive leading coefficient is going to look like a W. With a negative leading coefficient, we'll turn it upside down. And then you can take your in behaviors off. That's just kind of how I remember. The question is, our coefficient is a positive 1. Our degree is 4. So this is even. It is going to look like a W. So it's going to rise to the left and rise to the right. The next one, 6 is the degree, so that's even, but it has a negative leading coefficient. So it would be a W, but the negative makes it turn upside down. So it's going to fall left and fall right. Our third one, our degree is 7. So our degree is odd. That would look like a cube. Uh, the coefficient is a 4. So that's positive. That's not going to change it. It's going to look like this. And so it's going to fall left and rise right. This next one, I had to think about this a minute. Um, if you work this out, this would be a binomial squared, but the highest exponent you would get would be x squared. Right. But then we're going to do x squared times x squared would give us x to the fourth, which is even. So degree four, our uh, leading coefficient is negative. And so the four would be a w, but the negative turns it upside down. So it is going to fall left and fall to the right. This one you have to watch out because they switch the order. Um, you have to be in descending order, and the highest exponent is going to be your degree. So your degree is 3, which makes it look like a cube. And your leading coefficient is 1. So your degree is 3, your leading coefficient is positive 1. So it will look like a cube. It will fall left and rise to the right. Our next problem gives us a function. It gives us the picture, but we could figure out the end behavior without the picture. right? Your degree is 3. So degree is odd. Would look like a cube. Your leading coefficient is positive 1. So it's going to look like this which it does in the picture, it continues, and so it falls left and rises to the right. 